This video takes us through the build process for the wind-powered cart that goes directly downwind faster than the wind. Okay, for starters, we're going to make the prop shaft uh, and the axle. Prop shaft is this part here, front axle. Um, these are both made from a piece of 5 millimeter thin-walled carbon tube. Uh, outside diameter is 5 millimeters. The inside diameter is just over 4 millimeters. Tube comes from uh, Aero Micro, www.aeromicro.com, uh, an excellent hobby shop. So what I've done is marked off the tube uh, to a 25 inch piece by putting a small piece of masking tape here uh, and a 7 inch piece. 25 inch piece will be our prop shaft. 7 inch piece uh, is going to be our front axle. You can use a Dremel uh, cutting tool to uh, cut these pieces off. So we have our, uh, our front axle and our prop shaft and a piece of scrap. Alright, now I'm going to uh, just do a very light sanding on the end of this prop shaft. Uh, and this will allow the super glue, cyanoacrylate, or CA, as they sometimes call it, to uh, hold the bearings uh, when we get to that point. So I've taken some 150 grit uh, sandpaper, just done a light sanding. These tubes are not uh, necessarily perfectly uh, dimensional, so it may require uh, more sanding in order to get the bearings to slide over. In this particular case, uh, they go on pretty easily. So we just go ahead and slide two of these bearings. These are 5 by 13 by 4 millimeter bearings. I'm going to slide those right over All the right. edge. Next we're going to take the, uh, the two gears that are going to go in the 90 degree uh, gearbox in the front. These gears come from the Century Hawk uh, tail rotor for the uh, uh, ready control helicopter, the Century Hawk. The part number is HI3075 from Century Helicopter Products. Um, now these gears have a very small shoulder uh, right on the back side here and I want to take that shoulder off uh, so that we can get a loose gear mesh. For this, uh, for this project we, we don't need much torque to go through these gears but we need a very uh, low friction so we're going to just use some of this 100 grit sandpaper and take the shoulder off these gears. I'm just going to send it down like this until I can see that that shoulder is is flush. All right, that looks just about flush there. I'm going to do the same on the small gear. The small gear will go on the axle. All righty, so we've got the uh, shoulders sanded off of our uh, gears. Uh, and we've got to be careful not to uh, to damage the teeth of the gears at all. They have to be uh, they have to give us a very uh, clean, smooth mesh, and pretty easy to damage these nylon gears. So, two gears ready to go. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, the larger gear on the end of the prop shaft. What I'm going to do first is take the two bearings off because we're going to be drilling a small hole. Uh, in the prop shaft and we don't want to uh, get any of the carbon filings into the gears. So I'm going to go ahead and put that gear right on the end of the prop shaft until it's just exactly flush. Um, prop shaft comes all the way through the gear uh, right to the end so the, uh, the end of the prop shaft flush with the end of the gear with the teeth pointing toward the end of the prop shaft. Uh, and that's going to be held on uh, with a pin. Two of these pins come with the gear set. Uh, and that pin's just going to go right to the gear and the prop. Go ahead and put a 50, uh, a 564 bit uh, in the Dremel, and we're going to use that to drill uh, right through the shaft. So what I've done is drilled through the first half of the shaft with the Dremel. I'm going to go ahead and put the, bin, the pin in to hold the alignment so that I can drill the other half uh, and, and keep that in perfect alignment. And there we 
There we go. So we've got the pin in the uh, in the gear, sort of halfway through the shaft. That'll keep our gear in alignment uh, while I drill the other half of the shaft. Go ahead and drill for the other half. And uh, we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and pull the pin out so that we can put the bearings back in place. And then we'll secure the then we'll secure the uh, gear back in place. So putting two of the 5 by 13 by 4 millimeter bearings, followed by the big gear. Get that lined up. And we'll uh, see if we can't get that pin back through there. I want to be very careful again with the teeth on that gear. I'm just going to press this through until it's nice and flush both ways. And now I've got my, my gear secured on the end of the prop shaft and I've got my two 5 by 13 by 4 bearings. Um, next I'm going to go ahead and uh, fit this into the uh, tail case. So again, tail rotor case for the uh, Century Hawk helicopter. Uh, that is part number HI3078 from Century Helicopter Products. Alright, so I'm going to take just a little touch of the super glue or CA and put it on this shaft here. And I want that really thin. I don't want to get any of that in the bearing. But I'm going to put this on the shaft here and that's going to hold my bearings in place. One bearing right up against the uh, gear and the other bearing will hold on it just like so. So with that held in place, we're going to let that CA dry and that's going to keep the alignment of my gear just as it needs to be in the tailcase. Alright, so with uh, the bearings in place and with this rear one secured with the CA, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just double check its fit in both halves of the tailcase. Uh, in this half of the tailcase, I noticed that when I spin the, the gear, I had the very, very slightest rubbing of the gear on a little bit of mold flash right here inside the gear case. So I just took a, an X-Acto knife and I cleaned up the mold flash very carefully on there, uh, make sure not to leave any flash, uh, any, any uh, of the plastic in there. Uh, go ahead and check this on the other half of the gear case and we'll make sure that spins freely. Uh, seems to. No, uh, nothing in the way at all. So now we're going to move on to the axle. Uh, next thing is to, uh, we want to put the uh, axle uh, on the, I'm sorry, we want to put the small gear on the center of the axle uh, so that the, the uh, end of the gear uh, at the, the teeth end is right centered up at the center of the axle. So I've gone ahead and marked the axle with a piece of tape so that I can center that gear up. And again, we're going to drill uh, using the 564th drill. We're going to drill right through the hole, the existing hole in the gear, uh, and put the pin in to hold that gear on. Alrighty, so we'll again put that pin halfway in. We'll drill the other half of the uh, gear out. Again, we'll just put that pin all the way through 